so today's video is going to be a first impressions on the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder. I recently purchased this and I want to share it with you guys, um, but I don't know how I feel about it yet. So, because I haven't tried it. So I need to try it out. We're going to try it out today together. And I'm thinking if I do like it, I might do a how to bake video with it. When you guys will be seeing this, it'll probably be later on. You guys won't be seeing this video for a while. But anyway, this is the Cody Airspun powder, and we're going to try it out. I'm not baking today, just to let you guys know. As I said, I might do a future video on how to bake with this powder if I do like it, because that's really why I bought it. But today we're just going to see how it kind of sets my um makeup and see if I do enjoy it yeah all right so let's get started I'm gonna pull you guys in a little bit closer so you can really see what's going on so we're gonna start off with foundation so foundation um today I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I haven't used this for a while and I dedicated a whole video on it because I really liked it. And the reason I haven't used it is because it broke me out a couple times. So we're going to see if it breaks me out again today. But I do, really do like the finish and the formula and everything. I don't want to apply too much today. I'm not doing anything special. You guys probably won't even like. I don't even think I'll be going anywhere. Oh, I might be going to like Walmart or something because I need to pick up a few more products and I ran out of some things. So, and there's a few things I would like to try out. So, but other than that, I don't think this day will be far that interesting. The concealer I will be using today. As per usual, you guys know this is my favorite concealer. What I feel like because I found this concealer, I barely ever use a different one, especially on a day where I want to. Oh well, my rose. Where I want to see if this powder will set them my concealer well and stuff. This one doesn't crease much. Like we're gonna be setting half of our face with the airspun uh, powder and half of it with my regular Elf HD powder thing. I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. under eye con setting powder and I just put this in the cap. I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush as per usual. This is, I like to apply this powder with a brush. Um, now we're gonna take the Cody Airspun, where'd it go? The Cody Airspun powder. And, oh, it has a big loofah. I'm not going to use this, but. Whew, that is strong. Oh my God, I can smell, oh my God. This is the powder. I got mine in translucent extra coverage. eyebrows so first impression this does look a little smoother than my elf one which is very good it looks even a little brighter but we will see throughout the day so I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and so I'm back from doing the rest of my makeup really simple today just a pinky nude lip I'm wearing Rimmel's East End Snob one of my true favorites and then I just have like some mascara on, but my face is all like glammed up. Look at this highlight, guys. I have been absolutely obsessed with these shimmer strips from Physicians Formula. They're like 
so glowy. Right off the bat, I like this Cody Airspun powder more. It's just a little smoother. I'll bring you guys in a little closer so you can see just in a second. It's a little more smoother, a little more bright, a little less powdery too. Like it looks a little more fresh. So I'll bring you guys in so you can see that. This is the side that I have the Cody Airspun powder and this is the side I have the e.l.f. powder. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this side just looks a little more smooth, a little brighter, a little more, less powdery. And even around my nose, like where I set it around my nose, it just looks a little bit better. Just looks a little more smoother. I like how it set it better. It's less creasing. But we will see throughout the day if it gets even better or if it gets even worse. So I will update you guys and I'll check in with you a little later. So I'm just out for a walk and especially out in this light, I can especially tell which one I like better. So this eye right here looks a lot smoother. Um, it's not creasing as much, whereas this eye, it's not creasing, but this powder did a way better job at setting and making everything a lot smoother, a lot brighter. Whereas my e.l.f. one, as it does that, but the airspun powder is just topping it. Like, yeah, so I like this one a lot better. So, this is the Cody Airspun powder and this is the e.l.f. one. You can see that this one, there's a lot more creasing going on compared to this one. It's not caking around my nose, whereas here it is. Um, I don't see a difference in between my eyebrows right now, but that's all I see right now, like under my eyes and around my nose. So for now, I really like the Cody Airspun powder. I'm actually going to Walmart right now because I need to pick up some things. Right now, look at this, guys. No caking, no fine lines. It said it, no creasing. This one is creasing. It's paid. We're going to head back home now. So I'll see you in a little bit. And I am back home. I went to Walmart, bought a few things. I bought my new face wash because I needed one. And then the only like makeup y things. I didn't buy the lash primer from Wenwa because I realized I don't think I need it. I will probably be getting it soon, but at the moment I didn't need it and I only had a gift card. But anyway, I bought the lash primer, uh, not the lash primer. Yeah, shadow primer because I'm really interested in this. So you guys will probably be seeing a first impression on this as well because I'll be comparing it to the. Urban Decay one, because I want to see, some people say it's a dupe, so I'm going to compare it. And then, I bought the Nivea Men Sensitive Skin After Shave Balm, which I'm very excited for, because lots of people say it is an amazing primer, and I'm so impressed by, like, the bottle, like, it's like, like almost like glass and yeah but I'm not gonna try it I'm not gonna try it I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna also do a first impressions on this because I want to see if it's good or not so comment down below if you want to see first impressions on those products this powder is amazing I think this is my new favorite setting powder for the under eyes at least um I loved this one for so long from elf it was my favorite favorite every single day one what i really liked about it is it didn't um look like powder under my eyes you know which i was scared this one would it made my under eyes look a little more luminous like more glowy which i you guys know i'm all about and not very powdery not like matte but compared to this one that one looks like it's like powdery so it's like a lot um, smoother under this side compared to this one. I'll bring you guys a little closer so you can see. You guys can totally see there's like no creasing here, whereas here there is some and it's just a little more cakey under here. And this one's kind of more smooth and luminous, whereas this one's more powdery. And same around my nose, like look here, a lot more coverage. Like my concealer stayed there around the redness around my nose, whereas this one caked up and it kind of like went away. So. Huge thumbs up. Now, let's talk pros and cons of this product because I have a pretty solid opinion on it now. This product, um, Canadian, is around $9. US, it's like 7 I don't believe you can get this in Canada. My friend actually bought this for me when she went to the States. You get a ton of product in here. You get 2.3 ounces, which is insane for the drugstore price. Now... 
I was like thinking, well, this one is three dollars, but right, this powder does not flash back that much. Um, size wise, this one has 0 0.04 ounces and says 2.3, so that's roughly about 57 times smaller. This one is 57 times smaller than this one. And price-wise, they're $5 difference. So if you were to take the price of this, which is $4, times that by 57, you'd be paying around $230 for this. So I highly recommend this over this or any drugstore powder. I feel like this is like the best it gets because I thought the e.l.f. one was the best it got. No, this is real good. So I would definitely try this out. You get a ton of product for not a lot of money. And I really like the extra coverage translucent one because one is translucent and it did give me a little more coverage I feel like here and around my nose you can definitely tell I got a little more coverage than my elf one. All in all I love this powder. I will check in with you guys a little more towards the night after I've been wearing the makeup for longer. But for now um, I'm going to just like take a break from you know checking in because I feel like I know what I like about this product. And I feel like I really, really like it. Cons of this product, it smells really strong. Which I don't I hate the smell, but it's super strong. So if that bogs you, you know. Otherwise, I think it's great. Um, that's like the only con I can think of. Final check-in. Currently like 6 o'clock and I did my makeup around 10, 10.30ish. So I've had it on for a while. I'm going to just like check out here because I feel like I've had it on for enough time to see what I like. I'm absolutely obsessed with how this made my makeup look and um, the finish it gave and everything. It's so, like it's not creasing at all. It just looks so, so. This side again is e.l.f. and this side is the Cody Aerosmith powder. You guys can see the difference, right? Hopefully. And even around my nose, um, here it's just a little more smooth, whereas here it's just a little more red because the concealer kind of went away. It's amazing. Highly recommend this powder. Um, great first impressions, right? Like, I didn't know how much I would like it after this first impressions, but I really do like it. Hopefully there'll be a how to bake video coming up soon, and you guys will probably see this in my March favorites, which is probably already up, which is already, should be already up on my channel. I'll link that down below because this is a pre-filled video. But yeah, so that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoy this product. I had a good day with it. And yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment what you'd like to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.